top 10 riders to watch out for at Amstel Gold. With the cobbled classics now over for another year, Amstel Gold marks the first of the one-day races suited to the climbers. Taking place over 251 kilometres in the Limburg region of the Netherlands, the race is characterised by repetitive short sharp climbs and an abundance of road furniture. Here are our 10 riders to watch out for in 2014. Alejandro Valverde Top of our favourites list has to be Alejandro Valverde. The Spaniard has had an incredible start to the season, taking six wins already. Valverde finished an agonising second last year after everybody failed to catch Roman Kreuziger and he'll be looking to make amends for that in 2014. He will be the sole team leader for Movistar who bring a strong team along to support him. Tom Yelta Slagta It's now 13 years since the Dutchman won Amstel Gold with Eric Decker taking the 2001 edition but they have a real contender this year in the form of Tom Yelta Slagta. If he has anything like the legs he had at Paris-Nice, he's going to be a hard man to beat. With Dan Martin, Ryder Hegedal and Fabian Wegman on the start line too, Garmin Sharp will have a few cards to play, which could take some of the pressure off the shoulders of the 24-year-old. Roman Kreuziger Roman Kreuziger's victory at last year's race was a bit of a surprise. The Czech rider attacked 17 kilometres from the finish and was never to be seen again. In 2014, Kreuziger has once again been riding in support of Alberto Contador, but with the Spaniard not riding here, Kreuziger will again be team captain. Like many contenders here, he rode the Tour of the Basque Country last week and despite once again doing a lot of work for Contador, still finished inside the top 20 himself. Philippe Gilbert Three years ago, Philippe Gilbert would have been the first rider we'd have listed when thinking of favourites for this race. And although he hasn't shown his 2011 form recently, he should still be considered amongst the favourites. Last year he was fifth, but let's not forget that he won the World Championships on this finish 19 months ago, and has won Amstel Gold on two occasions. Gilbert was fairly anonymous at the Tour of the Basque Country recently, but having skipped the cobbled classics to concentrate on this week, he'll want to get it off to a good start. Rui Costa it's been a frustrating start to the year for Rui Costa with six second places to his name and no win. The world champion will be hoping to reach the top step of the podium sooner rather than later to prevent tongues wagging about a curse of the rainbow jersey. Without a fast sprint, Costa will need to forge alone if he's to win the race. However, if there's a small group coming to the finish, he might have to work for his Lamprey Merida teammate, Diego Ulissi. Ulissi has had a great start to the year, winning two races so far with a string of top results. He didn't ride the Basque Country, instead focusing on training on the run-up to these races. The finish of Amstel Gold suits Ulissi down to the ground, and if he were to win here, it would be the biggest result of his career. Simon Gerrans After an amazing start to the year in Australia, Simon Gerrans has been fairly quiet since he returned to Europe. Unable to compete in San Remo due to allergies, Gerrard will be particularly motivated for Amstel, which suits him the most of the three hilly classics. The Australian champion is regularly in the mix at this race and has twice finished third, most recently last year. Michal Kwiatkowski Initial results last year had Gianni Meersman in fourth, but in fact it was his teammate Michal Kwiatkowski. Back then he was still relatively unknown, but his form this year has made him hard to ignore. Kwiatkowski embarrassed Sagan at Strada Bianca, dropping him on the climb to the finish and it's that climbing ability combined with a decent sprint which sees him as one of the big favourites to win this race. Ben Swift 2013 was a difficult season for Ben Swift, with injury effectively ruling him out of most of the races. However, he has more than made up for that already this year. Swift sprinted to third place in Milan San Remo, followed it up with a stage win at the Coppa di Bartoli and recently a hugely impressive stage win in the Tour of the Basque Country. There he managed to climb with the best in the world and then outsprint them all at the end. It's been five years since Swift's one and only previous participation at this race, so he doesn't have a lot of experience here. However, on current form, he'll be a hard man to shake off on the final climb of the Valkenberg and an even tougher man to outsprint at the finish. Joaquin Rodriguez Three years ago, Spaniard Joaquin Rodriguez finished second at this race behind Gilbert. With the finish now pushed further over the top of the Valkenberg, it no longer suits this pure climber as much, but given his form at the recent Volta Catalunya, it wouldn't be a surprise if the Katusha rider was able to distance the rest and solo to victory. They take advantage of their shelter on the flatter sections. 
This will give you a faster overall speed up the climb without needing to expend any more energy.